back with another episode of El Sampler Pod. We're doing a kind of a shorter one on the trial of Sami Zayn that happened this Monday on the 30th anniversary of Monday Night Raw. Honestly, it was it was fantastic. That was fantastic. What do you think about JJ? Ten out of ten in my book. Yes. No, it, it was really good. Uh, I loved the setup. First, it started with with Hulk Hogan in the show, which I, nobody cared about. <laughs> This microphone failed I, I and feel, everything. It's like even technology doesn't I like. I feel him. like after he uh, <laughs> he he said what he said, he has lost respect from everybody. He has to go away. Yeah, that was probably Vince. Bring back Hulk. We need we Rain. need the mania, the Hulkamania. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, so I mean that was good. So we brushed that out of the side. Then the music hits. Roman Reigns and the Bloodline, which was great. Boom. And then. Sorry. No, and then, and then the thing that I loved about it, which I honestly would have even had Sammy come out without music, but I think it was great that he was just kind of <laughs> lagging behind yeah. like a little yeah, kid. Yeah, he was like... Como si lo hubiesen regañado, like... He was like, yeah. Daddy said I was bad. Yeah, yeah literally. Like, <laughs> Daddy put me on time yeah, out. Yeah, that's, what it, that's what it reminded me of. Because everybody was like with yeah. the ones to the sky, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then he was just like... Yeah, he just looked like he like um, like a little kid, <laughs> a little kid just been scolded. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, but, but but that was great. I mean, the visuals, and that's one thing that I will say about this storyline more than almost the the only other storyline that I could say that's close to this would be the Eddie Guerrero, Dominic, and and Ray Mysterio thing, ages ago that kind of does. Uh, hey, yo, hey, yo, what in. the. F- doing? <laughs> hey. hey! I told y'all I was gonna get on. Yo, we're hey, we we're, we're recording like right a... now. Hey, that's gonna be a good surprise for your audience, dude. All right, let me exit and then uh, just let me know when y'all need me. <laughs> no, just stay on. Just stay on. Well, what are we talking about, guys? We have no, well, tunes we're... on the show. In one. What are, what, are, what, are, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? The Wrestle Podcast. Wrestle. But uh, no, we're, we're talking about the trial of Sami Zayn. Uh, we're kind of kind of going over a, a little bit of the stuff. Not the whole Raw, just just about that. Oh, uh, oh I made it just so in yeah, time. So we were then. saying, yeah. No, no, so we were saying that it's the, the probably the most, one of the most emotionally uh, gripping stories we've had uh, since Eddie Guerrero with uh, Dominic and Rey Mysterio. That, I think, is the closest thing that you could say that's, real that you're like damn this like you actually feel for somebody because you've had other stories like sammy like um uh, sammy like uh daniel bryan right it was his journey right but this is one big journey but everybody has their own part like i I, even solo that just came in the other day he's a guy now like he's actually was a killer undefeated he's a killer have you you ever seen anybody not defeat one of the main guys be this be this good or this important this imposing that quick never I don't think i've ever seen anything like never that. in my life like that imposing and this credible nah yeah never nah. in my life dude the guy's amazing that guy that guy yeah. is i think i think what's going to be the best thing about this is the the sadness the the heartbreak because we all know it's coming Whatever we all know it's coming up. i don't know where it's going to come from i don't know yeah, where it's going to go yeah i don't it, know it's, it's, i don't know if he's going to turn his back on roman kind of or if he's going to turn on if he turns on jay this shit's going to be ridiculous yeah. no, that, that, because he that's did he saying. did after we didn't even talk about like how it went down like yeah but let's talk yeah, about yeah, that yeah, let's talk yeah. about that first let's talk about that first because I, uh, I i did like paul Heyman as a prosecutor oh you yes. can tell he's a son of a lawyer yep. he's a slimy lawyer like if he was he would have been an amazing lawyer he would have been making as much money as he is right now as a lawyer yep. he would have been great. greatest uh, he's just goat. exposing point after point after point after point after point and then Roman's like, all right, so, um, you know, do you have anything to say? And Sammy's like, no, I don't have anything to my defense. I don't, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't need to defend myself. I didn't like that, though. Dude, I did not like didn't. that he was just kind of just going to sit there and just be like, you know, whatever, man. Like, do what you got to well, do. Well, but it, but it made sense. But it made sense after what happened right afterwards. Yeah, but like I the, mean, fact that, the fact that Roman. Because if he would have defended himself, then. Yeah. yeah, then you wouldn't have had Jay doing it. Exactly. So, like, oh, but, yeah. but the fact that Roman. Shows so much emotions, like yo, this man is ready for Hollywood, bro. Like this he man, as 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 painful as it, <laughs> as I can say it. There's no way he's going anytime soon, though. 
Yeah, no, no. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> well, especially if The Rock's movies are failing, but it's okay. Ah, Black Adam, though. I mean, that shit was trash. It wasn't that bad. It was a DC mo- <laughs> movie. <laughs> hey, hey, Aquaman was, was dope. Shazam has been that, dope. That shit was ass. Anyways, <laughs> um, the fact that he put so much, so much intensity into it, and he was like, after everything, after all the, after the food I gave you, after you joining the bloodline, after you being with us, blah blah, blah and being with my family, I made you part of my family, and this is how you're gonna, um, and this is how you're gonna pay it back. You don't even know how have anything to say to fight back. Solo. <laughs> that boy. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I was yeah. like, like that. Honestly, <laughs> it's one of the few times in wrestling yeah. that I was taken aback. I was like, whoa! Like, yeah, it was, was almost dope. a jump scare. That was crazy. I was like, it almost seemed like a, a firing squad. <laughs> like he just seemed like a dictator. Yeah. He was ready. He's going out, bro. Yeah, he was yeah. ready. He was to Saddam kill. right there. Like, he was kill. He was going straight Saddam. Yes. He's like right. And it's crazy. Out, I think the craziest part is that Solo has probably been the coolest one with Sammy. Well, other than Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but he like, showed no Jim, emotions. He showed no none. emotions at all. Yes. He's just like, he's just like, like hey, cold yeah. blood is here. Cold Who do you need to take out? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's one thing I love about when everybody was talking, saying all this stuff of like, oh, yeah, because Solo's on the side. He's not showing emotion because that's, that's his, his job. job, bro. He's a hit yeah. man. That's what he yep. is. Yeah. He's there to take care. Like, he's he's your muscle. He's the guy to take out people. He's not there to think. He's not there to talk. He's there to take people out. That's his yep. job. Exactly. Exactly, but uh, but yeah, but, but uh, moving on to the um, to that part when uh, and then when Jay starts going. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't, I don't. You're, you're jumping into conclusion way too quick, bro. Like you're missing. I'm not jumping. No, into you're missing one of the biggest parts what? of the fucking scene. What part? What Whenever part? Solo is about a Samoa spike, Sami Zayn, and then Jay Uso stops him from. <laughs> Okay, no, I thought we had said that already. No, we <laughs> didn't say shit about it. <laughs> okay, no, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. No, that was great. That was great. It yeah, made no, me, it, yo, great. me and my wife that were like. <gasps> yeah, like you, gen- like it's like watching a damn movie. Yeah. Like it's like watching You would have never thought. We you would have thought. Goodfellas. No, it was you, great. You would have we thought it was we Jimmy. Goodfellas. Was great. You would have thought it was Jimmy, but then it was actually Jay who was out. Yeah. No, Jay, and that's why, that's why it adds another element. And then he's like, and then when he's like, oh, yeah. You know what? I didn't like you. I despised you, and and with with passion yeah. too. Like the same way what you're saying about Roman, you could say that uh, um, Jay and um, and Sammy showed a ton of emotion. Yes, definitely. This thing. definitely. Like they had watery eyes and everything. Like they were getting into it. Like they believed it. Yeah. And that's why us on our side we <clears throat> believe it because we they if they buy into it. We can buy into it. They have the memes already with like Jay be like nominated for your Oscar this year. They have like Jay. <laughs> yeah, so they, do. they have Sammy Zane. That boy Sammy was tearing up. I was just like, man, I, that's but that's okay. So we're obviously not going to see him on SmackDown because he doesn't want to see him until Saturday. But like in Maybe. what way? I mean, I have my prediction already on like what is going to take place and how he's going to like fall out of grace. You'll find that on. You'll find it on Resthold Podcast. Red Hole Podcast. But, but we are going to talk about that. We are going to talk about the Royal Rumble. Where yes, I can't wait. Yes. I fucking love the Rumble, bit, dude. Yeah. That's my shit. Yes. Fun. But uh, but yeah. Oh, and then the part after the, after the uh, Jimmy, uh, uh, Jay does his whole defense, which I think was great. They're showing what we haven't seen in ages in WWE. There's follow-up. There's a yep. reason why things happen. There's, uh, there's a whole story. There's character development because all these characters have sh- shown a million uh, uh, different shades. It's not just black and white. It, they're, you don't really know who's the good guy, who's the bad guy at this point, just to a, from a certain point of view. Yeah, exactly. When you really look at it, yep. right? But then, uh, but then the part when Jay says... If you want to see Sammy in the bloodline, put the ones to the sky. Bro, there bro. was goosebumps. Dude. Goosebumps. Dude. Everybody. I literally, dope. thinking about it gives that me goosebumps. That was amazing. Amazing. Like, there's not a lot of moments in my <laughs> yeah. whole other life. Other than, like, the I, yes movement. wrestling. Yeah, bro. other than the yes yeah, but movement, not but that, that was it. You don't get goosebumps like nah. that. And especially from Jay. He's, like, not even Mr. the Promo first guy. or second guy in. No, but he's not even the first or second most important guy in this whole story. Yep. It's actually Roman, then Sammy. So he actually inserted himself, th- and you're like, "This is great." The fact yeah. that uh, this is great. All, all the you can fact say. that um, that he did that, and to show it was kind of like a, 
Like, how can I explain it? This was kind of like a breaking point. WWE was like, okay, so depending on the reaction that we get is whether we keep going with the storyline or we not keep going with the storyline. Bro, but the fact that they had everybody in the crowd with a one to the sky is just nuts. Everybody's just invested. And then they put the shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody's invested. Invested. I was wondering they if they were going to do that. I honestly, I, I, was, I was wondering if they were going to the, show the crowd. And then the crowd, obviously, being Philly, everybody. Ugh. Everybody, dude, it was amazing, dude. Honestly, I don't. Which, by the way, I don't know. I was just the only thing I was gonna say was Philly and ECW, and he's like ECW, he's dead, dead. just like Sami like, Zayn should be, <laughs> bro. This, yes, oh, they, oh, that was that was dark too. I was like, they went all out. This was uh, this was amazing. This was amazing. The greatest, the greatest work that we've seen. The greatest work we've seen. I've, I, and I hate. I, I would have to say. So. I hate that you fucking so. sent me, or that you sent us the elimination chamber chairs, JJ. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, where does that put us at? Because obviously something's gonna go down. Whoa, at the whoa, 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 whoa. I know we're. Not, I know, I know, I know. I know we're gonna keep it, but like. Well, we're not even. We don't even know 100 percent for, for sure if it is real. But no, no, that's, that, that's for sure. Those were fucking beautiful, yeah. beautiful chairs, yeah, beautiful chairs. Yeah. But what I'm saying, they may not be real. No, they're real. But what I'm saying is, like, <laughs> depending on what happens on Saturday, how do you mix an elimination chamber with six dudes and the, put the focus on Sammy? Pause. Pause. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit. Is gonna yeah, dude, dude. I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. I've I've been telling I've been telling my wife I'm like I can't wait till Saturday. I can't wait for Saturday. I cannot. Yeah, it's gonna like be legit. Phenomenal. Like I I can't wait to do the live stream with you guys and have all the everybody there. But I can't wait just to see how this concludes. This is gonna be amazing. I don't think I don't think yeah. it's gonna I don't think it's gonna end on Saturday. It's gonna end at Mania. I think it's probably. gonna end at Mania, but at least we're gonna have a we're gonna have some clarity. Yeah, I think. After, yeah. after I mean, the way I feel like it's Could, gonna go down, it has, something has to happen on Saturday, yes. which is then gonna fall through Elimination Chamber, which is then gonna get us to Mania, but we're gonna yeah. get something on on Saturday. Like yes. something's happening. Yes. Bad. I feel yes, like yes, my yes, heart's yes. gonna break on Saturday. Well, I know. Either way, either way, no matter what happens, it's gonna be a heartbreak. Yes. And that's why, like I was saying, like the the good and bad, that bad part. It's uh, kind of like right now we we don't know if, if Sammy Sammy could have a Darth Vader moment. That's true. You know where 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 you, where you have a, a, actually heard that on uh, on Busted Open. You have a, a, a Roman beating the crap out of out of KO KO, and then he comes and helps KO, or vice versa. He just ends ends KO at that point. Like we don't know. Yeah. Like it literally could go any way. I'm just how dare just you. Me. How dare you? How dare you? The greatest, the greatest <laughs> wrestler of our generation, and you want to talk shit on KO, dude? Whoa, whoa, that's Daniel Bryan. Stop it now. But that, anyways, that vanilla, gonna, that vanilla we're gonna, midget. We're not gonna talk about that. But anyways, the point is, the point. Juan, I love KO. <laughs> the, the point is <laughs> that. <laughs> I do think that something will happen on Saturday because he said, hey, I don't want to see him until Saturday. Yep. And he needs to. He will show on Saturday his true what colors. if yeah, his true colors. But the fact mm -hmm. that what also it's another sprinkle on top of the on top of everything that's going on is that after th this this whole thing, the Usos defend their title against Damian Priest and uh, Dom. Which Dom yep. looked terrible still, bro. Yeah, he did, he did. Yo, Juan, you gotta you gotta does. get your cousin, bro. Like this man gotta go. Like you need to take hey. him out, bro. E anything. But anyways, the fact that Jimmy quote unquote got hurt, right? They even gave up the X to make it seem more legit. And then Sammy yes, and then good. Sammy got into the match. And the crowd reaction that they got into it, bro, they they had baby face reactions. Like this was a legit baby face reaction. Yeah. But nobody likes but nobody likes the judgment day though. Like honestly. Like, well, yeah, that's nothing true. Cool about them. That's true. Other than yeah. other than Rhea, but like there's nothing to them. Like who are they? What's well, the purpose? Think, well, but don't you think they put them on they put them there on purpose so they could be so they could be unlike no matter what happens. Well, yeah, I think I think they need Like they already it. know that they're going to get a bad reaction. They just want to double up and make sure cuz they put them against like I don't know, Seamus and Drew or 
or um, hell, even Imperium for this ma- for that matter. You can put them against any almost any other team; they may get some cheers. Yeah. Well, you know, against the, we know that the that nobody likes the Judgment nobody. Day or anything that Dominic Mysterio has to do with. Nobody likes anything it. that. Bro, I didn't Dumb. even like him when he was tag- tagging with his Dom dad. Dom sucks. <laughs> it's Dom <laughs> sucks. Like, he's terrible. He, I legit was hoping worse. whenever Roman Reigns threw him out of the ring in the Thunderdome era that he would legit be gone for like a year. Get out of here. <laughs> Hey, but, but but at least he, it seems like he does acknowledge that he sucks, and they know he sucks. Oh, that's why they it's have not like they're trying to sell. Him. Yeah, but they're not trying to sell him to you, the sell because we know there's a lot of people. For example, like Baron Corbin, he's terrible. Yes. and they've been trying to tell him. Oh, but but, 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 but stay terrible. along the lines of the bloodline thing. Like we're not gonna keep going. We're not gonna go on this rant. We're not doing this. <laughs> let's, let's keep because this keep is going to be thirty-five minutes one, later. I already had one rant the last yeah. show. So, <laughs> let's keep the bloodline right. honestly, honestly, this whole bloodline segment was probably the best. It was the not probably the, greatest. the best thing that happened on the show. The best That's thing that has why. happened in a while, forever. forever, in a very, very long time. Yes, and the fact that they started the show with a banger. Yes. We're not going to talk I about mean, the ending of the show because it was it ended in a very Vince way. But <laughs> very random. Well, they had to get him involved this Mania season, you know, they had to they had to get involved somehow. They got to sell more tickets, you know what I mean? But anyways, I mean that show is already so I mean they sh- they've made their money on Mania. Mania is yeah. already sold out. Oh, my bad. Like, Yo, my bad. I don't know these. Well, I don't know. No, I don't know if it's. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's sold out. But it's. I mean, they've made their money on Mania, just like they've made their money on the Rumble. Really, don't got to do much. But I mean, you got to have Brock there, especially if, if the Rock isn't going to be there. You got to have another attraction. Yeah, but then it bothers me that they're that they're still uh, making Lashley look like a second rate Brock Lesnar when. Lashley's whoa, the one whoa, that's gonna whoa, be there whoa. day in and day out. Well, but he anyway. is the second rate Brock Lesnar dude. Let's, let's keep it bloodline related. But for storyline. But for storyline. Well, you gotta get But for storyline. We gotta get the hurt business back together. <laughs> that is yeah. true. Okay. But anyways. He needed he needed so, uh, he needed help, technically. So then question do you guys think this is going to end on saturday or is it going to continue okay hold on wait 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 do you wait, think wait. we're going to have a full breakup okay that's or, what you mean and we're going to see what the full end's going to be on in, in mania or do you think we're actually going to it's just going to continue it's just going to add another i layer think it's going to do it they're just going to extend it i'm gonna I'm go first i think they're going to continue because you're adding another layer of paul Heyman not liking Sami Zayn. so you're adding another layer of beef between and you're dividing people. You're dividing the wise yep. man, which is technically, uh, obviously, the wise man of Roman Reigns and the left and the right hand man, better compared to Jay, uh, to divide him with Sammy, divide him with te- with potentially Jay and Jimmy because Jimmy and Jay were the ones that stood up for Sammy. You know what I mean? So it, I think it's gonna add another layer and it's just gonna get better. Um, I think it's going to end possibly at Mania. I don't want it to end, but I think it's going to end at Mania. I don't think it's going to end on Saturday. Um, okay. What do you think, Juan? So, I, I don't think it'll be the end. Um, uh, because of who I believe is going to win the Rumble, it's going to add another layer to it, but it will definitely end at, at – well, the way I'm looking at it going to Mania, it has to end at Mania. Um but then that opens up questions on what do you do with two other members of the bloodline? Um, so I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm just excited to be on the ride. It, it actually, right. uh, before you say something, it actually feels great to actually not know. Yes. About yes. what can happen. Yes. We, we, we're, yeah, we're, we're here debate. We're here like giving our opinions on like what's going to happen. We don't fucking know. Nobody knows. Yeah. No one knows. Everybody keeps saying like, oh, plan is changed. This is the change. Like nobody fucking knows well, what's no, going on. Correct. Yeah. Well, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, I'll tell you this kind of uh, uh, peek behind the curtain. Like even when I do the shorts, I almost feel like I could see the card and I could almost tell you exactly what's going to happen except for the bloodlines. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. I could almost get, tell you beat by beat what's going to happen. It's, it's extremely predictable, but this is like, oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, but uh, but you know what I think the irony of the whole thing is, 
that Roman Reigns is depending on two people that are not family to see who he really trusts. And the future of his family depends on two people that are not family, which is Paul Heyman and Sami Zayn. And and you know what's different, too? Yeah, but but, but, but the thing is that, yeah, but when you, but regardless of, of whatever it is, they're, he's saying about family, 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 family. Paul Heyman and family. Oh, oh. Neither is Sammy. Neither is Sammy. You're right. So you're you right. literally have you're these right. two forces. These two forces. Who is Roman going to trust in the end of the day? That's what it comes down to. Because right now, with Sammy's pissed, not because of KO or anything like that. He's pissed off because Roman is, is doesn't trust him right now. Yep. Because the bloodline doesn't trust him. At least that's what well, they're, they're it was kind of suspect what happened on Friday. To a certain extent. No, I mean, it's just, it's just bro. I mean, no, no matter what, I mean, you can't just, even though KO's done it to him before, like KO did say, which I like the follow up. They've talked about stuff from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past. But I'm saying, yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying, like, like, what happened on Friday is kind of like, like, kind of suspect that the fact that <clears throat> Sammy was nowhere to be found until, like, way later. Yeah, but who, who, who expect, who expected him to be there, like, a part, like, I mean, well, we know Sami Zayn is a, excuse my language, but a chicken shit heel. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's there. Uh, he's the coward of the group. He's willing to take a bullet for the group, but, yeah. I mean, he's not going to be there front and center in the middle of the fight when you got Solo in front of you, when you got Roman there, you know? Mm-hmm. He's the one you throw at the wolves to get away. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Which, was, which is basically what he does anyway. Yep. That's true. That's his job. You take hits. That's all he mm-hmm. does all day, but but it was but honestly it it's it's been it's been a fantastic ride. Thinking that it was only going to be there for one or two weeks, and they mention it, bro. Talk about nine months, Correct. bro. Yes, Correct. yeah, and I didn't, I didn't even know. I actually was going to text you about that because yeah. I was like, because we were talking the other day, we thought it was like six yeah. months, but it's been way longer nine than months. that. And it's crazy because uh, y'all, y'all but, but I don't know if y'all remember when like, this just came out of nowhere, but I think it was an interview. Or it was somebody had asked Roman like, "Oh, what do you think about Sammy?" He's like, "Hey, anytime we could get Sammy Zayn on SmackDown, we need more Sammy," and that yeah. is what led to him being in the Bloodline. Roman's a fan. Oh, I didn't know Roman's that. Roman's a fan. Yeah, I did not know. Yeah, that. Roman's a fan. Wow. Yeah, Sammy's a great worker. Sammy's Sammy everything. And honestly, I've I've never been a huge ha- Sammy Zayn fan, but the guy's amazing. Who would have thought like this that guy we, does? Everything. Well, who who would have? Like, he looks so bland. He bro. does. No, yeah. I don't think so. I think he has a very he, unique no, he look was, to himself. No, I'm saying that he was very bland. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like Couldn't when he started, talk. when he first came in, he was like he was like the white meat baby uh, white meat baby face all day long. When he was in NXT, he was a great in the ring. He was amazing. Like that that match with Nakamura, well, that was like a ten star yes, match. Was it? Screwed to Dave Meltzer. But who would have? But uh, who would have thought that we would have gotten two different? underdog stories with Sami Zayn. We got Neville, right? We never thought he was going to be Neville. And then now we got him with Roman. That's true. Now we have the opportunity of replaying that on the main roster. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean honestly, it, it's 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 amazing. And I have never seen anybody make more out of less than Sami Zayn probably in all my time as a wrestler. Yep. Because they gave him nothing. He was just supposed to be a joke. He was supposed to be yeah, the uh, conspiracy weeks. theorist. A joke. A you know, joke. Yeah. And look at him now, bro. You, you imagine <laughs> that... It's crazy. It's crazy. Some way, somehow, Sami Zayn beats Roman Reigns for one of the titles. I, and, I and definitely then, see and that. Then, and I then, definitely see that. But the crazy thing is, and then Sami just has the title, and he throws it back at him because he doesn't want it. And then you say, you get... No, 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 no. And you get like kind of like the uh, the... Like, kind of like on the movies that you get the main villain or the big bad guy, like, kind of like you earned it type thing from, from like that. Just to get the respect, just to get the respect out of Roman? Maybe. I don't know. But, like, yeah. but why the hell would he care? Well, why would he want to get Roman's respect at the end of the day? Not just that, but I think he's, all that but shit, he's had he it. Wants to get a, no, he's never had it. The title? No, he's had Roman's respect. Yeah. Oh yeah, but 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 the thing is, like, but but why would he care now? After if if what we think may happen happens, I mean, he's he's gonna not give a damn if he respects him or yeah, not. That's true. He's gonna want to keep his ass at that point. That's true. Why would you even care? He shouldn't. Like that would make no sense. It was, oh, because it's Roman Reigns. Nobody care at that point. Because it's like if you beat him, 
his aura is gone. Well, look, if 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 like literally, in this if season, Vince is gonna come back and take over, the only thing I need to see Triple H do is give the title to Sammy. Bring me Goldberg. Yep. <laughs> That's what it's but can happen. we all agree if he does win, he's he's gonna probably lose. It's gonna be like the quickest run. It's gonna be faster than Kofi's. Yeah. No. Definitely. Hey, maybe like like Rey Mysterio's that time lasted like th- two oh, hours. Yeah, that right? too. That too. Or or even worse, Jericho's that lasted seconds. <laughs> the same day. Same day. <laughs> no, but it was seconds because Rey's was the same day. It started the show and then he ended the show uh, losing to John Cena. And then Jericho, where he beat Triple H, and then it's like, nah, that doesn't and count. It doesn't count right there. What? Bring it back. Run it back, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's up? But, um, yeah, but, but I think that's it. I, I, I think we'll, we can wrap it up here unless any any of you guys has something else to say, because if not, we're just going to keep on going for, mm-hmm. like, that's some bloodline stuff, so. man. Everybody's I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk Rumble, y'all. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah it's some good yeah. stuff. All right, guys. So, all right, as always, uh, that was JJ. Uh, this is Howie. That's our boy Juan. Peace.